Are you guys ready for the next fighters? Let's get them to the cage first. Mariana Morias. Mariana Rice has four knockouts and eight submissions in her fighting career. She said she had a great camp. She's been training with Jessica Adraj, who's a, a UFC champion. She feels very, very pre prepared. She feels that her opponent and her are similar size, which is unusual for her. So she feels like that's going to give her a little bit of an edge. And her opponent, Taylor Gardado. There is Taylor Gardado who's been very impressive all season. And she said, you know, I, I feel really nervous before a fight, but once that cage closes, I feel ready to go, and all of it just sort of melts away. And she has gotten better round after round. She's utilized her wrestling and control in every fight. And I, I kind of see it as, as a match of wrestling versus judo in some ways. Really curious to see how that clinch battle is going to go down how she sets everything up. Fantastic matchup between two underdogs. This tale of the tape brought to you by the United States Marine Corps. Mariana Moraes, very experienced despite being only 25 years of age. Taylor Gardado is two inches taller, has a three inch reach advantage in both the arms and the legs. We send it back to Lillian Garcia. In the semifinals, it's win or go home. And we turn our attention now to the women's lightweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. She specializes in judo and Muay Thai. Standing at 5'4", she officially weighs in at 153 and 1 half pounds. In 28 professional fights, this veteran has a record of 17 wins and 11 losses with 12 victories by way of stoppage. Fighting out of São João de Boa Vista, Brazil, here is your number five seed, Mariana the Razor Moraes. Her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, she is a striker, standing at 5'6", she officially weighs in at 155 and one half pounds. With a professional record of two and one, she fights out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Fight fans, here is your number four seed, Taylor Gardano. Your referee in charge, Gary Copeland. Taylor Gardano's husband watching with great interest. Gary Copeland watching with even greater interest inside the PFL Smart Cage. <laughs> Equipped with our ref cam, he can take us inside the action. Round one, you ready, red? Gardado Round in the one, red. Ready, blue. Marias Point. in the black and gray. Touch of the gloves, and our first women's lightweight semifinal is underway. Gardado misses with the leg kick. Combination comes up short with the hands. Marianas wisely moving side to side before stepping in to crack away. Nothing landing solid in the early moments. That time a right hand snuck through for Gardado. Couple of kick tries here from Taylor Gardado. Once again, bounces a right hand off of Mariana Morais' forehead. Heavy leg kick by Morais, though, on the lead leg of Gardado. Here's a wrestling exchange. This is exactly what Taylor Gardado wants. Crawls heavy. Oh, what a beautiful throw. Nice front headlock action by Taylor Gardado. Did a nice job of switching her hips to travel over and end up on the top position. Marais doing a nice job of scrambling back to her feet, making Gordado work for it. Gordado still making her carry the weight. 
Good defense by Mariana Marias to get back to her feet. And now she tosses Taylor Gardano to her back. Nice hip toss, beautiful technique in judo. Puts Gordado on the bottom. Yeah, that was a big takedown there from Marais, right into side control as well. And a place, Randy, where, as you know, good old-fashioned wrestlers are not super comfortable most of the time on their backs. Yeah, that was definitely a place I had to get used to in a real hurry. Uh, We'll see what Taylor can do from the bottom position here. She's got to create a scramble. Use that left underhook, circle towards it. Try to get elevation exactly like she's doing now. Got to protect her neck at the same time, but she needs to get to her feet. Nice job by Gordado. Yeah, great job utilizing that underhook. Getting her base, posting on that right arm. Getting back to her feet here now. She's in on an opportunity for a takedown herself. Swapping position of dominance a couple times already halfway through the first round. Mariana Marias, Taylor Gardado. Marias attempts to step over and repeat the toss that got Taylor Gardado down the first time. This time Gardado puts up a stop sign. Kayla Harrison watching, waiting. Main event coming up later. Nice little sneaky knee by Gordado. Marianas hung her head a little too low there. Gordado brought the knee up from the side and clipped her a little bit with that knee. Over under and Mariana Marias is able to reverse the position. Throws a knee of her own. Once again, Taylor Gardado tries to toss the knee up to the hanging head of Mariana Marais, who now goes to work on the right hand. Head position, Kay! Head position when you can! Here we go! Yep, keep chipping away! Heavy hips! Nice, Taylor! Good knee there! One minute, Taylor! One minute! No, Tina, give him up! Give him up here! Come on! Aye! Aye! Watch it! Gardado chipping away with knees. Now Marais backing Gardado up against the cage. And you gotta think, Gardado's gotta hit a takedown if she wants to get, have a chance of stealing this round here. Inside leg kick landed there for Mariana Marias. Inside of 30 seconds now as the right hand sneaks through for Gardano. Her striking has looked good. Yeah, she timed that one really well right off the kick of Marais. Marais steps in with a combination. Cracks away with the left hand on the exit. Gardano thought better of sending that right hand. Mariana Rice tries to close it out with a combination. Round two next. The lovely Janney tells us round number two ahead here. Got Beside two, the Randy. PFL Smart Kick, Sean Randy. O'Connell, Randy Couture, right. Kenny Florian. Round one in the books. Taylor Gardado in the red. Mariana Marias in the black and gray. FPR score favors Mariana Marias in round number one. But the big takedown on the toss. Nice leg kick there from Marias as Gardado backs up. Randy Taylor Gardado has thrown more kicks in this fight than we saw all during the regular season. Yes, it's absolutely something I believe she's been working on. We're striking coach Nate. There's a double leg, nice takedown. Good timing by Gardado. Saw Morianas extend that hand, try to make contact with that jab. She timed it, went right under, drove through, little trip right to the bubble. Take your time. 
coaching Taylor Gardado through the exchange as she's in the guard of Mariana Marias. These positions pay dividends for Taylor Gardado in the regular season, Kenny. Yep, absolutely. It's not, it's not about points tonight. It's about winning and advancing. She's got good positions. She's got to keep her hands off the mat. She needs to posture. I'd love to see her posture up a little bit. And try and trap a hand and find a way to land some some good damaging blows from this top position. Mariana Marais doing an excellent job of just stalling out Taylor Gardado here on the top. Gary Copeland keeping a close eye and encouraging the action. Smart tactic by Marias to use her foot, change direction, spin the action away from the cage instead of getting stacked into the bottom of that cage. Rice now reaching up, grabbing her own foot, attempting a lockdown here. Cardano pulls through it. There's a look through the ref cam. Copeland watching closely. Taylor doing a good job of swimming her arms on the inside and staying busy enough to just short shots. Just staying busy enough, taking away a lot of those submission attempts with her head position and keeping Morais' back pinned on the mat. And we've seen slower starts from Gardado before. She tends to kind of pick up pace and pick up steam as the fight goes. As a wrestler, she's not afraid to grind out a victory here. And it would appear that the strategy for Mariana Rice was to, to get exactly that, to get a referee stand up. She kept the guard closed, trying to lock things down, rewarded with just about two minutes remaining here in round number two. There's that wide swinging style of Mariana Moraes. And again, this time Gardano sends some back. And that's where Taylor really needs to be careful in the pocket against someone like Moraes, who really is swinging some heavy shots there. Marais keeps reaching down every time that Taylor Gardado throws a leg kick, trying to catch one like she did earlier in the fight. Nice jab. Nice jab. Nice counter right hand by Gardado. High kick attempt just misses there for Taylor Gardado. Marais continues to master the distance when they're out here at range. Switching stances, the Brazilian. A hook and a straight right. Oh, nice head movement there for Taylor Gardado. Slipped out of the way and threw a right hand back. Yeah, that counter right hand has been money for Taylor so far. Closing in on 30 seconds remaining. Here in round number two, second of a possible three in a women's lightweight semifinal. Nice leg kick, caught her right on the calf. Taylor Gardado putting some nice striking on display here in round number two to go with the wrestling. Inside of 10 seconds left, and round three ahead on ESPN. We are back for the third and final round of Professional Fighters League semifinal action third, in the women's red, lightweight red, division. Third, Taylor red, Gardado out of Las Vegas in the red. Mariana Marias, the Brazilian in the black and gray. A spot in our women's lightweight world championship. 
on the line. Another nice right hand from Taylor Gardado as Marias attempted a kick to the body. That's kind of been the story with their striking, the kicks of Marais against that right hand of Gardado. It looks like Gardado's keying off that, off that kick. Every time she picks her leg up, Gardado's launching that right hand. Definitely, and Gardado's now throwing kicks to that lead leg of Marais. Could be the deciding round here. Marais strong in the first. Fighter performance rating gave that one to her. The opposite true in round number two. Could come down to this one. We saw that in the heavyweight semifinal as well. Who will turn it on in round number three? Nice footwork by Garrado. Not willing to engage in the slugfest. There's a bit of an exchange. Once again, Taylor Gardado counter-punching successfully. And Marais has switched her stance as well. That lead leg has taken a beating. Yeah. She switched to the southpaw stance now. It tells you you've been doing some damage when you force her to switch stances. Now Marais falls into a little grappling exchange here. And Taylor Gardado happy to oblige, pressing the Brazilian against the cage. Be careful in this clinch. There's Jenna Fabian, one half of our main event coming up later on ESPN. Watching with great interest. Punch on the exit from Taylor Gardado landed. Marias missed. And that has been the story of round three so far in these exchanges. Gardado is finding a target. Marias being aggressive, but just not able to land. I think that's where the wrestling of Gardado is paying off, especially those lead leg kicks as well. That's going to slow you down, not going to allow you to really move forward, sit down on your punches or move away effectively. When she's forced her to fight as a southpaw by making her switch leads, which is never very comfortable yes. unless you've practiced it extensively. You see the live odds swinging well into the favor of Taylor Gardado, who snatches a single, thinks better of it. Over under, and a nice toss there from Mariana Marais, who lands right in half mount. Big takedown there from Marais. Two Gina, minutes left. Another nice hip toss by Marais. Gordado has got to get her feet in play here, create a scramble, and find a way to get back to her feet. Gordado attempting to lock down Mariana Marais here. And, and look, we've seen both of these women try to employ that as a strategy to get a stand up with only two minutes remaining. And Marais trying to stay busy on top. Taylor Gordado is going to have to open that guard and get herself back to her feet. She's trying to get that left underhook. Yep, there, there she it is. It. She's going to circle towards that now. Get some elevation and try and fight her way back to her feet. Yeah, she's got to build her base base back up, post on that right elbow or hand. Mariana Marais forcing Taylor Gardado to stay flat on her back. Even with that underhook, she's got to get to her right hip with the left underhook in order to build the proper space and frame to get back to her feet. Savvy grappling in top position here from Mariana Marais who may be one minute away from stealing this fight in another upset. Short punches to the ear from the top. Look in the red corner one more time of Taylor Gardado. Great space. No damage at all. She's not even hitting you. Non-stop. 20 seconds. Don't stop striking. Switch it in, Under her left arm. Go, go, go. Hammering away. And now going for a. No, unable to set up the arm triangle there. But Mariana Marais will finish this fight on top of Taylor Gardado. Three five-minute rounds in our first of two women's semifinals. A trip to the $1 million championship bout on October 27th will be decided by the judges.
both fighters walking around the smart cage, raising their arms, trying to claim a victory. Tough one to call. There's our Cajunomics stats bundle presented by Geico. A lot of work done by both women. A couple of takedowns for each. We'll see how it plays out. Take a look at the rich energy replays from this close fight. There's the double leg in the second round. Beautiful job of driving with her feet, finishing strong and landing on top. Nice overhand right, right on the jaw. And there's the knees from the clinch position. Gordado doing a nice job. Fighter performance rating gives round two to Taylor Gardado. One and three go to Mariana Marais, where she had the big hip toss takedowns. That brought to you by Rich Energy. Let's check out the Verdict Global scorecard with Verdict. You, the fans, get to be the judge. Oh, okay, the Verdict Global scorecard gave round one and two to Taylor Gardado, round three to Mariana Marais. What did our experts think? Eh. Experts is a generous <laughs> term. <laughs> FPR says Marias. Fan vote says Gardado. Randy says Gardado. Kenny says Marias. These two can't agree on anything. <laughs> <laughs> Lillian Garcia has the official judge's decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judge's scorecards. Judge Elian Rodriguez scores the contest 29 28 for Marias. Judge Michael Tate scores it 29-28 for Gardado. And Judge John Rupert has it 29-28 for your winner by split decision and clinching a spot in the 2021 PFL World Championship, Taylor Gardado! <laughs> There's Taylor Gordado's husband and son, Kale, oh, celebrating the victory. A split decision, very tough call. Were the takedowns of Marias, beautiful as they were, enough to win the fight and overcome the striking of Gordado?